Well, we're doing Unit 6C, Part 1. And uh, the first question has to do with uh, determining whether this given graph represents a normal distribution, and it does. If you go to page 391, you'll see <coughs> that the uh, uh, graph of a normal distribution is a bell-shaped curve. Now, for number two, we've got to uh, state whether you would expect the data set to be normally distributed in the sales of birthday cards over a one-year period. No, I would not expect. We would not expect them to be normally distributed. They'd be more uniformly distributed, an equal, uh, almost the same number of cards sold every month, and you can see that on page 391, 392. Now, for number three, for adults, uh, we've got to use the 68, 95, 97 rule. And let me explain that. And if you go to page 393, you'll see what we're talking about. And I'll go there also. And uh, what's implied by this is 68%, and this is page 393, 68% of the data when you have a normal distribution lie within one standard deviation of the mean. 95% of the data lie within two standard deviations of the mean. And 99.7% of the data lie within three standard deviations of the mean. And how, uh, what uh, percent lie below uh, three standard deviations at the mean, well that would be a hundred percent minus the ninety nine point seven percent which would give us 0.3 percent, divide that by two we'll get 0.15 percent and uh, let's see where are we and it turns out that that's our answer so a hundred percent minus uh, 99.7% divided by 2, and that's our 0.15%, and that's D, selection D. Now for 4, we've, uh, scores on a test are normally distributed with a mean, and that's X bar of 112, a standard deviation, that's sigma, and that's 13, and a, uh, Z of uh, negative 0 0.67. Now let me point out what's meant by Z. And if you go to, uh, to uh, page uh, 395, you'll see this statement. The number of standard deviations a data value uh, a data value lies above or below the mean is called the standard score or the z-score. So z is the number of uh, 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 standard deviations uh, below or above the mean. So we've got a z-score of negative 6.7 and here's the equation for z. z equals the difference of the uh, some data value minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. And now solving for, what do we have to solve for? We have to find x. So solving for x will multiply both sides by sigma and uh, the standard deviation, then we'll subtract the mean and we get x equals the mean plus the z-score times the standard deviation. And when we plug in the values and carry out that operation, we get 103.29, which is A. And please go to page 395 for that. Now for 5, and as I just said, the z-score, the number of standard deviations a data value lies above or below the mean, and that's on page 395. And uh, we also have to use this table on page 396. And for 5, we're given a uh, uh, 
data value of, uh, we're given the z-score. This data value is 1.3 standard deviations above the mean. So we're given the z-score. We have to find the corresponding percentile. So we'll use the table and we'll find the score on this table of 1.3 above the mean. So we'll go to 1.3 and the corresponding percentile is 90.32. So that's where we, so that's our percentile, 90.32, and that corresponds to the answer given in C, a z-score of 1.3 corresponding percentile score. Now for 6, we are given a uh, percentile and we have to find the corresponding z-score. So we'll go back to the table. We'll go to the 31st percentile. Yeah, 31st, here it is, 30.85, and uh, the uh, corresponding z-score is to the left of it, and that's negative 0 0.50, so uh, uh, z is negative 0 0.50. Uh, 05 and D is the appropriate answer and see that table page 396 and we're done with the first part.